Hello there lovely people! Welcome to my channel. My name is Eve and welcome to our first episode of How To In SG. In this playlist, I'm going to post tips, tricks, and hacks about living in Singapore and anything in between. So, in today's video, to kick off this playlist, I'm going to share with you how much you need to save for your Singapore trip. You heard it right! So, let's get started! But, I have to have a disclaimer. Um, this video is not sponsored of any kind. Um, this is all based on my experience and uh, research online and in my opinion. So, all the links that I'm going to mention in this uh, video will be posted in my description box below. So, if, if you are interested, go ahead and check that out. In this video, I'm not going to give you the exact figure uh, or, or exact amount that you need to bring or to save for your Singapore trip. However, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to give you uh, figures or ideas that may be useful in planning your trip. I hope that makes sense. Number 1 is how much is your actual budget? Correct. It is important to set a particular budget and sticking to it while planning and while you are on the trip. It could be 300 500 or 1000 all the figures that i'm going to mention in this video will be in singapore dollar you may just go ahead and check currency converter to convert it in your currency all right number two how many of you going is it couple is it family is it group, group of friends okay the number of people that go into a trip will depend uh, will determine how much you're gonna need for a trip Okay, now that you have determined the number of people and the budget that you're gonna spend, it's now time to proceed to the next step. Finding out if you want to go on peak season or off peak season. Of course, it makes sense. Off peak season will have a uh, much affordable um, airfare and uh, peak season will be a sky high airfare, right? Okay, so traveling can be very cheap or very very expensive, but you must know when to go. Let me just give you the idea when is the best time to visit Singapore. By, uh, during the month of November to June, during this month, there's a lot of events that you can actually go to and uh, enjoy in Singapore. There's Zouk Out in December, and uh, there's the street lights and Christmas decors in Orchard happening also in December. And comes the Chinese New Year in January to February, which is a very, very big celebration in Singapore. However, if you come to Singapore during the month of November to June, please expect uh, random rainfalls <laughs> because this is the rainy season. If you want to catch the GSS or the Singapore Great Sale, come in between July to September. Because if you want to do a lot of shopping you know, and save a lot, you better catch the GSS. You can shop until you drop. Singapore National Day also happening in August. Why not celebrate with Singaporeans? while the Singapore Grand Prix happens in September. What? That's a lot of things to do there. <laughs> so now, with, with that all being said, when is exactly the best time to come to Singapore? Tick -tock, tick -tock, tick -tock. Of course, July to September. Let's proceed to number four. How many places you want to see in Singapore? Do you want to explore Singapore more or you just want to stay in the hotel and enjoy the aircon? If you are on a budget, don't worry, you can still explore Singapore on a very, very uh, affordable <laughs> cost or no cost at all. <laughs> Number one, Esplanade. If you just want to take a picture outside this iconic durian shaped theater, just go ahead and walk there and take a lot of photo. Number two, the famous Merlion statue which is located a few meters away from the durian Esplanade. And in front of the Merlion is the Pullerton. Yes, you have to take a picture with that. Let's proceed to the places that you need to pay entrance fee. Number one, Sentosa. It's minimal fee only, maybe $2 or $3. And then uh, Universal Studio. Universal Studio. <laughs> one day pass will cost you for adult $76, child $56, senior citizen $38. Next stop, Singapore Flyer. Adult $33, child $21. Next, Marina Bay, Sky Park, or Observation Deck. This one will cost you $23 for adult, $17 for children, $20 for senior citizen, 
and children under two years old may be for free. This duck and hippo tour comes in package, but however, if you want just the duck tour, this will cost you um, $37 for 60 minutes sightseeing that covers both land and sea. Interesting, right? Singapore Zoo! Woo -hoo! If you want to have encounter with animals in Singapore, go ahead and visit Singapore Zoo for just $32, adult, child, 22. Moving forward, do you want to stay in a backpackers or you want to stay in a fancy hotel? Hotel 81 can offer you a $50 a night. Just find out which one is not located to the district, to the red district. And what if you're feeling fancy and rich, go ahead and check Marina Bay Sand. They have $20,000 a night. So go ahead and figure that out. Number six, where do you want to eat? Sometimes when we are traveling, we are kind of mm, hesitant to try new food, new culture. So we end up eating in the fast food like McDonald's, Burger King. If you are in Singapore, I suggest that you try the Hawker Center. They offer the best food and cheap. We just need to you know, find out which one you want. Hawker Center can offer $2 a meal up to $15 for a very good meal a day. With all that being said, I hope that you find something um, useful in this video and I hope that you can plan your perfect Singapore tour. Don't forget to subscribe and hit thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!